Taxes can seem scary. I get it, but it doesn't have to be. So let's break it down real quick. When you're selling online, you need to collect sales tax for any item that you've sold. However, each state does it a little bit differently, which just makes it super confusing. So some states, you only have to collect sales tax if you have a physical location there, like if your business headquarters is there or if your warehouse is there that you're shipping the products out of. Other states, it's based off of a revenue threshold of how many sales you're making for products in that state, which is called an economic nexus. And each state also has different levels of the threshold here. Just to make it even more confusing, some states you don't have to collect sales tax on different types of products. Like in New Jersey, you don't have to collect sales tax on clothing or footwear. In California, you don't have to collect sales tax on food that is consumable. It can get really confusing, but thankfully there is a better way to manage it all and make sure that you don't end up with a huge unexpected tax bill. You used to have to manage all of this individually with a third party Shopify app or just your own bookkeeping team. But thankfully there is a new feature called Shopify tax that makes it all a lot easier and all just in your Shopify backend area. So you want to make sure that you've actually opted in for this new feature of Shopify tax because it is free for your first hundred thousand dollars in online sales. And then after that is just a small fee to manage it moving forward. So you can get to this area by going to your settings in your Shopify backend and then taxes and duties. And you can then set up there which individual states you need to be collecting sales tax for. And it'll start showcasing based off of your thresholds of how many sales you have in each state as well. So it'll notify you when you need to start collecting sales tax in a new state and start showcasing what tax that is. Make sure it's charging it to the customers as well as showing you what that is on the back end, so you can make sure that you are saving accordingly. A key feature in getting this to work correctly is making sure that your products are categorized correctly within Shopify. And you can find this area in the taxes and duty section as well. But this way it helps Shopify know based off of different states that charge taxes for different types of category of products. It'll let Shopify know what type of category your product is in and make sure it is charging the appropriate sales tax or not charging sales tax based off that. So you wanna make sure that you go in and make sure all of your products are categorized correctly. So just to make this even more confusing, this is just sales tax that I'm talking about right now. This is not income tax, which each state charges individually or each country charges individually as well and you'll have a federal income tax. So this is where it gets even more confusing and honestly, I'm not an accountant. I'm just a web designer. So I highly recommend that you reach out to an accountant and get all this set up because you do need to be paying an income tax for the state or federal level that you are in to make sure that you're paying taxes off the money that you've made from your business. Again, not an accountant, so make sure you hire someone that can help you with all of this and, and set everything up correctly from the very beginning. A book that I have found really helpful in just setting up your business correctly is Profit First. It really helps me understand kind of just how I need to set up different systems in my business, as well as how much money I need to save for operating expenses, taxes, all those things, and of course, paying myself as well. So I highly recommend this book if you're interested in more kind of business fundamentals, behind the scenes information, and I'll put a link to it in the description below as well. I'll be honest, I actually made a huge mistake and did not set aside enough taxes in the first year of my business and it was a pretty ugh, bill. So do not make the same mistake. And if you wanna see more lessons that I've learned along my entrepreneurship journey over the last 12 years, then check out this video over here. I've got more tips and things that I recommend you doing and not doing as well to help you along the way.